the first question that we have is again an interesting question we have been given two points p vector and q uh, points p and q whose position vectors are given as are given as follows always draw the diagram in such questions to get a clear idea of what is happening the point p has position vector 5i cap plus 7j cap minus 2k cap there is a point q which has a position vector minus 3i cap plus 3j cap plus 6k cap now there is a vector a vector passing through point p let this be a vector the a vector is given as 3i cap minus j cap plus k cap and there is another vector b vector which is passing through point q this is minus 3i cap plus 2j cap plus 4k cap now it is given that the that that a third vector 2i cap plus 7j cap minus 5k cap intersects these two lines passing through point p and q respectively let them intersect at points l and m we need to find out the position vectors of points l and m so we clearly see that this point m is lying on the line passing through q and point l is lying on the line passing through p so it is always advisable in such cases to write the equation of the lines the two lines so let us first write down the equation of the line passing through q the equation of the line passing through q can be written as minus 3i cap plus 3j cap plus 6k cap plus lambda times minus 3i cap plus 2j cap plus 4k cap over here we write the position vector uh, position vector of any one point on the line which we already know as q and here we write the direction of the line and this is the position vector of any general point which is lying on the line passing through q now similarly let us write this let this be r1 vector there will be another r2 vector of uh, this is the equation of the line passing through p therefore we will write this as 5i cap plus 7j cap minus 2k cap plus mu times the direction vector that is 3i cap minus j cap plus k cap 3i cap minus j cap plus k cap so for some value of mu this will give us the point l and for some value of lambda this will give us the point m now this r1 vector is the position vector of point m and the position vector of point l is r2 vector let us write this down the uh, position vector of m can be written as that is r1 vector is minus of 3 lambda minus 3 let me write it clearly over here the point m is minus 3 lambda minus 3 comma 2 lambda plus 3 comma 4 lambda plus 6 we can also write the point l this point l comes out as 3 mu plus 5 comma minus mu plus 7 comma mu minus 2 now we have the uh, position vectors of the points l and m now we have to apply one other condition that the line joining L and M has the direction vector 2i plus 7j minus 5k. Therefore, we just have to equate the direction of the position vector of M minus the position vector of L to be equal to 2i plus 7 minus 5k. So let us solve for this. We can write 4 lambda plus 6 minus mu plus 2 upon minus 5 to be equal to 2 lambda plus 3 minus 7 plus mu upon 7 this is equal to 3 lambda minus 3 upon 3 mu plus 5 sorry 3 lambda minus 3 minus 3 mu minus 5 that is minus 8 minus 3 mu 
upon 2. Now, we get two equations over here. This gives us one equation in lambda and mu. And this, these two give us another equation in lambda and mu. On sol solving these two equations, we get the value of lambda and mu to be equal to minus 1. On putting these values of lambda and mu over here, in the position uh, vectors of uh, points L and M, we get the position vector of point L as 2 comma 8 comma minus 3 and the position vector of point M as 0 comma 1 comma 2. Therefore, our final answer for the point of intersection comes out to be equal to the point of uh, intersection L is 2 comma 8 comma minus 3 and M is 0 comma 1 comma 2 and this is our final answer.